there, it's Vicki with my Let's Wander collection at American Crafts at Creativation. And you, you saw all of the walkthrough of the video. And now I wanna share some of my mixed media artful technique stuff. So one of the first things that we're gonna talk about is a creative effects prism glaze, or as I lovingly call it, mermaid scale. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? So let's show you some basic things that you can do with that. So I have my stack of foundations paper, which you know is your go-to for mixed media technique because it will hold the moisture. The basic thing you can do with this, right, is a texture paste. So I can put, this is one of my new stencil patterns. Put the stencil on, load it on the back of my palette knife, just pull it through, and I have a textured background. Oh, look how pretty. There's bubbles in there. I'm just gonna blow on. <laughs> just to pop the little bubbles. But do you see that? Isn't that fun? So texture paste. And then what I never like to waste, so I have all this pretty glaze on my stencil. So let's take that, mist it with some water, and see what we can get out of that. So I missed it, lots of water because I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna mist again because then I can maybe get a double impression out of it. Let's, fingers crossed, could happen and it might not. But why waste it on a paper towel, right? So let's see. Okay, Vicki. This is for TV, you know, like, is there going to be a result? Oh, look how pretty that is. So this is meant to be loose and um, mixed media-ish. So look at now on this one too. If you didn't want, let's just tap that with paper towel. If you didn't want all of that kind of um, looser finish, but do you see the metallic in it? Let's pretend we didn't miss it. I'm gonna show you again, okay? But you see the halo effect? So even as that uh, starts to dry, you're still gonna see the pattern from the stencil. And let's take that now and stamp with what's left on here. And we'll just do it with paper towel. I don't like to waste, so I'm like, get as many impressions out of it as you can. And then these can be card backgrounds. Oh, look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? So right out of one application, we got all of those. And we probably could miss this and get one more, but let's take that off now. I love that. Make sure you share those with me. I'm doing a video, but sorry, I had to pause for a photo. Vicki also, because I like to speak of my, uh, about myself in third person, <laughs> forgets where she is. And that just happened. You saw that happen live just for you. So we put it through the stencil like a texture paste. Then we missed it on it because they're all water soluble. And instead of wiping it and throwing it away on a paper towel, made a couple of different impressions. And as these dry, you wait. It's freaking magical stuff right there, that mermaid. Mermaid tail. What should we call it? Mermaid tail? Mermaid scale? I don't know because it's not crushed happy unicorn tears. So what are we going to call it? And then we can also take this with my other favorite tool. And this is for you guys that you're like, love that, but it's too messy for me, freaks me out, I don't like it. Stencil brush. So if you do this then with the stencil brush, this is your um, unicorn horn and it gives you control. So by putting your medium in here and getting it off so it's not um, all goopy in the brush, you can then go, and let's grab my other favorite stencil. And the other thing, see how delicate the stencil is? If I try to push medium under this, if you're a beginner, you might push it underneath the pattern. By using the stencil brush, you have way more control, still get this beautiful metallic effect. But it, if you strive for perfection, you'll get more of it with this, okay? Because I'm right there with you. Sometimes I want it to be crisp and clean, and that's what stenciling this loveliness will do. Isn't that beautiful? So even though this is a different product, this is our mermaid scale prism, and it is called prism. Don't look for mermaid scale, you won't find it. Prism glaze, it's doing all the same things as the gold does, 
and the iridescent and the silver and the rose gold. So just because I'm showing you, this might be the first time you're seeing it, all of the glazes, which are very much like a texture paste with some um, iridescence to them, will do all of those magical things. The other thing is, remember they're water soluble, so you can mix them with all your other mediums. Why don't we do that? Actually, why not? We can do the things. So I'm gonna go with something that is tonally, no, switched. Let's go with the green. So we're gonna take some of the green and I'm going to mix some of the glaze in here because these dry completely matte. So you're like, but what is this? I haven't showed you this yet. They're the new texture paste, but it's an opportunity for me to show you once I find where I put my palette knife, how you could also then take a different medium. And I'm gonna show this twice because when I do the video using these, I'll show you a different glaze and what we could do with it. So let's mix that in here. And now we have this pretty greeny metallic yumminess. Might need a little bit more. Beep, beep. I can't wait to see what this looks like because I've never done it before. <laughs> Right? So, wow, we're all seeing it for the first time. Now it looks like a dragon scale. Right? It's kind of like a dragon. I love it. Ooh, look how pretty that color is so deep. Oh, I love that. And as it dries, the metallic, you can already see the green really shining through that. Let's look with the stencil brush because it's for in, um, immediate gratification. We're gonna miss, but not as much water. So let's see what we did before. Two squirts. I'm gonna just use a paper towel this time. And let's see, instead of just wiping it off on paper towel, let's see what we get. Oh, look how pretty that is. And see how it's more um, stable because I didn't miss all that water on it. But because we can, let's put lots of water on it and see what else we get. Is it on the right side? Yes. I am not misting the back of the stencil. Let's see what we get. Look at how pretty it is on there. So if I would have pressed that card on the back, we wouldn't have wasted it on my paper towel. Let's see. Look how pretty. So you see what I'm, where I'm going with this. I could mist again and we could do one more because why waste the product? It's super heavily pigmented. So you get lots of, I'm gonna just put this on without even misting and see what we're gonna get. Oh, I like that. It's kind of stained glass-ish, isn't it? So imagine you had like a yellow watercolor wash and would have just stamped that. So if you have just a bunch of cards laying around with a watercolor, I love that. I'm gonna, oh, I'm so excited. Right? Doing it for the first time. So you're seeing that first, like, oh my goodness, test drive because I didn't have any of the product before the show. So a lot of it. And then yesterday was just a day of hugging. It's what we do. Just hugs and kisses. Oh, I haven't seen you for a year. And then today was like, let's get down to the nitty, nitty gritty. I ran out of cards, so I'm just reaching over and grabbing some more. Now let's see this with a stencil brush because this is actually really stinking awesome. Right? It's a fun thing. I love finding. Let's find all the things. What stencil are we going to do with it this time? No, I'm doing serious work here, okay. Beth Kingston, so I'll talk to you in a minute. Because I already did it and then realized, oh yes, I'm filming a video. <laughs> you ready? I'm excited. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Magic is happening right before our eyes. So do you remember now? Because we did so many. We used some of the green, which is Juicy Pear Texture Paste with the Prism Iridescent-ish Glaze. And then, oh my goodness, look at all the magic. We'll take a picture after, because I'm sure they'll share at the end of the video where you can see all the different things, because um, we're taking notes, because that's a lot of information right there. So what was I sharing? It's the brand new Vicky Booten Prism Creative Effects Glaze from American Crafts and just showed you just a few seconds or minutes of things you can do. And you know the possibilities are gonna be endless. You just have to practice and play. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Sprout Time Videos for all the Creative Asian 2020 coverage.